Hi everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So I'm on that r filming kick. Yeah. I got the filming kick. Yeah. <laughs> I am such a nerd. Okay. Um, before I get started though on this tight this tag video that I found, I want to let you know that I started an Instagram. I put it in the description of my last video. And I'm gonna put it in the description of this video. Um, I have nothing on it just yet. I just felt like I needed to start it so I could start following people and I need to get into this bookstagram thing. I'm just nervous that I'm not like artsy enough for it. That's like my biggest thing, but we'll see. I have to download it onto my phone because I haven't done that yet, but after that, hopefully we be snapping. So, no, that's Snapchat. You know what I mean. Let's just get started. So I have my phone just because I wanted to have the questions of this tag and this is called my life in books tag so you answer a bunch of questions and it's basically about your life but you need to use the titles of the books to answer them so i did not use this bookshelf at all i only used the brown one in the hallway so that was kind of tricky i decided that it would be so much easier if i could just like narrow my brain down to just one set of books for this tag and so that's what i did let me bring them to the front though and reflip them over because I think I put them upside down. Okay, so the first question is title that's the story of your life. Um, I just feel like my life right now is going really well. I'm building a house, which is fantastic at my age. I just got married and my life is just really, really great right now. Even though I'm in a new grade, I'm enjoying my life. So I picked the lucky one. I feel really lucky right now to have all the things that are going in place for me. So I picked the lucky one. Um, number two is title that describes your perfect weekend. I almost picked um, For One More Day by um, Mitch Album because who wouldn't love an extra day in their weekend like I have this weekend. But instead I picked The Great Escape because the weekend is always such a great escape. I look forward to it every single week um, just to be able to enjoy my time in my own life and whatnot and go out to dinner and go places and have adventures. So I picked this one. Um, title of an adventure you'd like to go on. I think I got these like confused, but I put The Island by Ellen Hildebrand because The Island really means Nantucket Island and I would love, love, love to go to Nantucket. It's like one of my dreams. Ellen lives there, so I feel like I want to go there and secretly like bump into her by accident because that sounds phenomenal. She has a getaway coming in October where she's like reliving like events and going to the bars and places from her last book with readers and I am like I wish I was not a teacher just so that way I can go on this trip but the island would be a really great adventure um title you want to name your child um I'm gonna take a part of this one um Ella Patrick and I have discussed that we would like Ella somehow in their name like maybe their middle name um, if we have a girl because of the fact that my grandmother's name was Ella. So we've discussed that Lily used to be on our wish list of names, but things happen when you're a teacher. And, um, not that I've had, like, bad Lilies. That's not my thing. It's just I feel like I'm not actually in love with Lilies as a name as much as I used to be. No offense if your name is Lily. It's still really beautiful. I just... I've grown away from that. And it's also probably because my it used to be Lucy. And I named my dog Lucy. Not Lilo. But like my other dog Lucy. And then Lilo. I must have a thing for L's. So I'm trying to get away from the L's. That was a long rant. I'm sorry. Um, title of your dream job. I have no books that say teaching on them. So I picked The Kingdom Keepers by Ridley Pearson. Because... Who wouldn't want to be the keeper of Disney World? Come on. That would be awesome. Um, title of a place that you'd like to visit. This one says, we'll always have Paris, but this book I also know has like Italy and other trips. And so Paris is also, would be awesome. Wouldn't that be awesome? So picked this one. This is like really offsetting my color. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, title of your love life. Oh, I just lost the questions. Okay, there we go. 
picture perfect because this has a wedding and right now we are doing really well. We're newlyweds, so of course things are picture perfect right now. And then I questions you ask yourself. I didn't know how to answer this one, but I had a book that had a question on it, so I picked I ask myself all the time, can you keep a secret? Not true. But it had a question in it, so I picked it. It worked. And then, um, title of a kingdom you want to rule or name. I didn't understand this one. And, of course, I had no, like, kingdom books out there. So I picked Summerland because that seems like a really fun place to be the ruler of because it's summer all the time. That would be awesome. And then the last question is, title you would name your band. And I picked Swinging on a Star. Um... So yeah, I don't know. I didn't know what to do. You know what I realized? I tried to stay away from picking the same author more than once, and I did it with Ellen Hildebrand, and then I didn't even think because these are two different series. I grabbed two Janice Thompson's books. It happens. Um, so that was this tag. I tagged you and you and you and you and you and you and you. So if you would like to do this tag, let me know that you filmed it, and I will definitely go check it out. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye, everybody.